Hi Pisces, how's it going? We're here with a timeless reading, welcome. The first card that we have out is Nine of Wands. Feeling tired. You're about to get a boost of energy, I'm seeing. Seeing nine of wands in the sun. Talk about energy. I'm seeing strong Leo here. We have the sun and I also am seeing the strength card. Okay. This feels like one of those times when you can really be going through with something where you can feel like it's it's a really big challenge. Um, you can at this point also be feeling tired. Like nine of wands is that card that references going through something that feels like it really requires a lot from you and being at that point when your perseverance will carry you the rest of the way and nine of wands is also like you're so close like you're so close just keep putting in the effort but it becomes sort of a a mind game or like a game of will at that point especially seeing the sun and strength come out where if you are willing to there is something that you are going to accomplish here. But you can also have the option of abandoning something. It seems like. So as you're doing your thing sort of slow and steady over here and can be like trying to do some problem solving, just being smart about the moves that you're making, this can be a time where it really relies on like your, your intellect, your problem solving through your sort of psyche and also mentality and also, yeah, your brain just in general, themes about that. Having Knight of Pentacles, this is like, I gotta be responsible, slow and steady, put in the work, show up every day. It's like that type of thing where it can feel a bit tiresome to have to do that because it can be like, okay, it's the same thing every day. It's so repetitive at this point. Having the sun and having King of Swords here can be something sort of lighting up within your your head, your frame of mind, you can be feeling like your brain is just working better or more clearly, feel like there's more of a sense of vitality that you have or like more energy or more life force. And it feels like this does something to stimulate you mentally. And there, it also looks too like there's something happening where it may be difficult for some reason to it seems like you have to have some type of conversation or there's some type of communication that's needed because I'm seeing a knight of swords coming your way but I'm seeing you've been in a position where it feels like you may have had to be doing things in more of an earth energy to have this here so maybe you were even feeling like unstimulated mentally like you can be having to do earth stuff which is like i have to do this boring 3d stuff i'm saying boring because nine of wands is this feeling of like i've been doing this forever when is this going to be done like and it really does become a mind game with yourself of like am i going to keep doing this am i willing to keep doing this because at, at this point i'm feeling like it's really starting to test my limits here like that type of thing so this is feeling like something that becomes redundant in a way where it's like day in and day out i have to do this thing and i have to stick with it and slow and steady progress you know and it can feel kind of like unstimulating to you you know you can be feeling uninspired having the sun and having 
king of swords is something that's going to come through where you'll be like ah, I feel like my brain is lit up again I feel like I have some inspired thinking or like I have some type of motivation or some type of energy that I wasn't having before so it will feel like the stimulation that was lacking it does feel though that it comes in the form of you maybe having some type of like conversation or exchange of information something like that you can also just be looking for intellectual stimulation while you have this other stuff going on too. What seems interesting about all of this is that because the Eight of Cups is here, feels like this may beg the question of whether or not you wanna remain doing something. Cause there can be a part of you where you're like, this is so difficult and I do have control and power here over this situation, the sun and strength. I have control over what's going on and I can decide, am I gonna stay here and keep doing this thing that's feeling really challenging for me? Or am I gonna look at this and be like, this is for the birds, I don't wanna be doing this. Eight of cups can be that moment where you're like, maybe I'ma leave all of this behind. Maybe I don't really feel a sense of passion for this. Maybe I don't really feel like I'm involved enough within this that I want to stay doing it. Like maybe there's something else better out there. That can be the feeling. So these can be the things that are going on. And because the sun is coming and it's like stimulating you mentally, you can be now thinking about this. It doesn't mean that you've done anything about it yet, but you can be looking at something and being be like, this is challenging. It's taking a lot of work. I do have the possibility of an out here if I want to. Before though, using just this to make some type of choice, because I'm definitely seeing you, regardless of what exactly is happening for you, having five of cups on the bottom of the deck, there can be some information, there can be a conversation that you just had or you're about to have that leaves you feeling upset, disappointed, maybe just feeling sad or being like, why are things like this? You know, like catch you in that type of way where you can be like really not wanting to be in that position emotionally. So that can be something that's going on. Also too, it feels like rather than just looking at like this is difficult versus I could sort of leave this and maybe go look elsewhere. It feels like having a an informative conversation, even though it can be hard on you emotionally, is gonna be really important because it feels like that's going to determine something for you about what you wanna do here. It feels almost like stuck between a rock and a hard place where I feel like nine of wands is an option and eight of cups is an option where you can look at something and be like, technically I have the power to not have to struggle within this anymore because it is feeling like, like it's going to take continuous effort for me to persevere through this. And you could be sort of looking around and being like, do I really want to do that though? Would I rather be spending my time and my energy elsewhere and be involved in something else that I feel like is going to maybe be like more easily in resonance with me and won't take so much work, like won't take so much time, won't take so much building, maybe won't take so much responsibility. And you can have something like that going on here where you feel like this is just a lot of this stuff is coming to light, like coming to the front for you. I do feel the sense of like potentially some type of ongoing conversation that would have to be had on an ongoing basis. And that can also be part of this too, like some type of touch and go communication it seems like. But it can be working through something that's just feeling, it can be feeling draining, uncomfortable, difficult, like just stuff coming up where it could have been things happening that you weren't expecting to happen. You know, like when you initially signed on, can be that type of thing. Can even be like sad news that you get, just like upsetting, disappointing, something like that. What do you wanna do here? I, I really get that you get to choose which way to go with this. I am seeing your Mars energy be triggered. I'm looking at the tower on the bottom of the deck. 
So it does seem like there is some type of movement that wants to be had, okay? There can be something that you feel like is not aligned with expectation or some type of issue with like compatibility or reciprocity that you're feeling. Like something that isn't balanced. Because I'm only seeing Leo here so far within the reading, you can have prominent Leo placements, but this can also be alluding to the Leo reading that the Leo reading sh will be out on August 1st. And it's about seeking solutions and also about mediation. So if that's striking a chord with you, you can check that out. I'm not sure what day yet this reading is gonna come out yet. Have to move some things around. So back to the reading, what I'm seeing here, it feels like, it feels like you have the opportunity to stick with something, but you also have the opportunity to, to maybe try your luck elsewhere. And something about communicating and also like problem solving intellectually can be feeling really difficult. Like maybe you feel like you're having a hard time communicating. You could feel too like you've been having a hard time just working through something or figuring something out and like putting your best foot forward with it just for some reason. I don't know like why it's, why this is so exhausting, but what I'm seeing is it is exhausting. Having nine of wands and having King of Swords is like, I have to put even more brain power into this to figure this out, or there has to be even more communication in order to figure this out. And you can feel like it's really, there's a lot of effort just that has to be put into this. And it's been a lot of effort that has had to be put into this. And you can also feel too, like you need to respect yourself as you're moving through this process, you know, not to get involved in something or be doing something where you're like, I'm losing respect for myself moving through this, you know? You're losing respect for the situation. For those of you that another person is involved, because it looks like I'm seeing two masculine energies here, regardless of gender, it has nothing to do with that. Masculine energy is just about having to initiate things for the purpose and for the sake and purpose of this reading. Um, I'm seeing stuff have to be initiated that has to do with problem solving, like all the mental arena, problem solving, but then also needing to take action based off of what's been figured out. Like I'm thinking about this and then I'm gonna do that thing, like that sort of stuff and trying to figure out what to do here. And having the sun come out, it feels like if you have been like, I don't know how much like mental energy I have left, the sun will be a time when it, it's going to hit your mental energy and like re-up your battery essentially. Like it's going to refuel you and so it can help push this through with what needs to be done here. So if you've been working through something and you're like, I'm so tired, I almost wanna like bow out of this entire thing. Know that the sun and like the Leo energy is coming through and I don't know what placement it's going to be hitting for you, but what I'm seeing is gonna happen is that you will then feel like you have the mental energy to work through this and you'll feel like I'm gonna show up now. I've been figuring this thing out. I now am getting the energy that I need to actually do what needs to be done here and sort this out. And then it leaves you in a position where then you'll get to decide what you want to do with this. And it can be that question of, am I going to stick with this and keep doing it and like commit to that? Or am I going to like break the contract, so to speak, and, and use that, that energy to move elsewhere, to look elsewhere or to seek other than this or to disengage from this and potentially get involved with something else or look around and see what else I can get involved with and it's going to be like that tipping point because in the middle of this it's seeming like do I keep doing this or do I not and this is going to help you figure that out what to do here with this if you want to stay or if you want to shift out of this or like transition out of it Mental energy first, 
throat chakra energy first, which means thinking clearly, making sure that you're grounded and communication can be a part of this as well. And then action when it comes to what you're going, what you're like deciding and then what you do, like what behavior follows after that. I'm seeing it be in this, this order for a particular reason. So it's not like act now and think later. It's like think now and then act later. But there can be a part of you that with this burst of energy, you may want to do things out of order, but you're being encouraged to do things in this order because it will be the most sound way to move through this. You are going to be taking action. Having the air energy before you taking action though is making sure that you feel like I've thought this through before I go and make a choice. So then you're gonna feel good about the choice that you're making. Like it's, you're making the right choice for you, okay? Feels like the challenge can be being like grounded and consistent with something and having to put in like repetitive work and be making responsible choices. There can be a part of you that's, that's getting a little bit restless as you go through this. So I'm seeing that. I'm seeing that there's going to be a refueling mentally for you. I'm seeing that there can be a difficult conversation or just like something challenging that happens. It feels like news that comes your way or a conversation that comes your way where it can feel like it really takes a lot out of you to be present for that. And then at that point, a decision about what to do and you will be taking action at that point. And it does seem like what had been so tiresome initially where you could have again been like, I almost want to like disengage from this completely because it's so challenging. I'm seeing you end in the energy of the King of Wands, <clears throat> which shows you being in a position where you are ready. You are in that position and you're gonna do what you need to do and you have the energy to do it. Yeah, so if you've been going through something and it's you've been feeling very, very just exhausted going through the process of it, I'm seeing that you're gonna be coming out in an energy where you will know what to do. For some of you, this is something that when you get to that point of being ready to take action, it will be around the beginning of September. I'm getting that coming through. It can be like end of August, beginning of September. Okay, strong Leo energy that I'm seeing here, but also too, like having the sun and Leo together, it can just be like during Leo month or zodiac season because it's more than just a month so yeah that's what i'm seeing having the tower on the bottom of the deck this can just be like a lot of stuff that's going down and things can feel chaotic but things will be like straightened out for the most part by the time you get to the end of this or at least there will be a i know what i'm signing on for and so that gives me a sense of direction then at that point yeah hmm all right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time.